Okay. All right, so first things first, this is a scanner. If you've never seen one, use one. They're actually very useful. People think like it's an old school thing. It kind of is, and they're not expensive. I think you could probably find one, I don't know, 50 bucks or so, maybe less, right? Um, but believe it or not, and I'll, I'll explain right now, these were technically f the first digital cameras. Anybody know why I would say that? Does it look like a camera? What do you guys think? Anyone? No comments? All right. I'll show you why right now. But anyway, has anyone ever used a copy machine? Yeah. Really? Okay. So it's similar to a copy machine. If you look, uh, this is the, the, the plate where you put the, the window, where you put the image, right? Uh, and if you notice, there's a, a little arrow, just like on a copy machine. And that tells you that's the upper right corner, right? Now this is glass. So be very careful. You don't want to put anything like real heavy, like a car part or something. Even you could probably do that, but you have to be aware. It's like a window, right? You can break it. Uh, also, if you notice, I mean, this is what we call a flatbed scanner, right? This is articulated. That means that it kind of goes like that up. So you can actually put like a thicker book, right? And you say you wanted to scan a page from a book and you put it in here, maybe have somebody help you hold it. And then you put this down to kind of flatten the page a little bit, all right? This also, believe it or not, scans uh, transparencies or slides. If you've seen the old school stuff that's on film and it's like a little square and it's got a little image and you look through it, anybody know what I'm talking about? Those are the old slides. This has an adapter and we have it over there and it'll actually scan slides and maybe I'll do that uh, later. But this has to go in here so it doesn't activate the slide scanner. It's just like a little thing and this is cushiony because it presses, it pushes down the paper and makes it nice and flat. So I don't care what iPhone you got, even if it's a $2,000 iPhone, this is gonna get you a more accurate image and more detail, right? And nice and straight, right? Because when you take pictures with your phone, sometimes it's distorted or whatever, but this is gonna be like the best way. What people used to use these for are like to scan old photos and then throw them into Photoshop and fix them, right? To restore stuff. That was a big deal back in the in the 90s and early 2000s, people would restore your old pictures. That's before cell phones and now you have your pictures with you all the time, right? Very few people actually print them out. Okay, so that's face down. And today I want you guys to scan as much as you got and I'll, I'll uh, have it on Schoology where you're gonna upload your scans, even if you've already uploaded stuff last class, right? Uh, obviously we have to connect it, it's USB. And sometimes when you first connect a USB device, uh, you might have to set it up. So sometimes these, you go to the website, Epson, and you look up the, the, the model number, and sometimes you have to download some software. Nowadays it's not that bad, and you just hook it up. And on a Mac, you go to Apple, System Preferences, right? That's where all the stuff is, like uh, control panels on a PC. And you'll see that there's always gonna be one that says printers and scanners. And you can see right there, it says Epson Perfection V600, right? And you tell it open scanner. So this is step, this is one way of using it, right? With its own software. This one's kind of touchy and for some reason it's buggy and it doesn't tend to work. And the problem is right now, if you notice, it's not on. Most scanners are like any other device, they have a button to turn them on, right? got to do that and you can see it saying waiting for scanner again there's something up with this one. Oh, one of the other things if you remove these around or take them somewhere else there's a, a little lock mechanism so that the the little uh, uh, scanner that actually moves on a, on a couple rails doesn't get damaged see it's trying to do something you can hear it now it is a slow device in, in the respects of it responding so sometimes it takes a little longer so be patient it's trying to do something all right so uh here it says show details actually it worked this time what it always does is be aware of this is it does what we call an overview or preview right and there's the image right now i'm going to take this little button off sometimes it says uh 
uh, use custom size. Where's the rest of this? There's one that says like auto detect. We don't want that. Oh, separate. There it is. Off. Auto selection. We don't want that because if you saw there was like a little marquee, right? But say you want to scan the whole thing, you just click and drag it like that, like in Photoshop, and you get a marquee, right? A selection area, and that's going to scan the whole thing. Or you could adjust it and just scan something, right? You see? So you could do that. But I want the whole page because then I can cut it up in Photoshop if I need to, right? But if somebody tells you to scan this whole document, that's what you would do. Uh, we've talked about high resolution here in this class, uh, starting this semester, 300 pixels per inch or, or dots per inch. We always want that, all right, minimum. You really don't do anything else. Don't make it 305, don't make it 350, don't make it whatever. We want 300 is a good enough, what we call a high resolution, right? Remember, you can't change that after, because then you're not you're not doing it right. You're, you gotta do it right when you're doing this, okay? Uh, flatbed, even though there's not a lot of color, or if your drawing is just black and white, you still wanna do color because you want all the information, all right? If you are doing a document, say like a legal document, there is a setting for black and white or text, see? So if you're doing just like a, a copy of something, colors, I just live it on millions, even though there's billions, but that's fine. And it's telling you the size it's gonna make it. Most importantly, where is it gonna scan, right? And you guys know this, when you save stuff on the computer, sometimes, oh, I saved it, but I don't know where it went, right? You just gotta get better at that. I'm gonna put this on documents. That's where it's gonna go. And then I'm gonna call this uh, Annabelle scan one. I don't know if I spelled it right scan one, right? Always kind of rename it. Format JPEG, that'll work for us today, right? And then you hit scan. So today we were lucky. Usually the the going to the preferences does not work. Cool. And let's go to our documents. And there it is. And it's perfectly scanned and it's nice and sharp right it's about as best bet uh, good a picture as you can do right so that's one way okay the other way in case this doesn't work is if you have access to Photoshop you launch Photoshop Photoshop has a built-in uh, way of using scanners it's been around for a long time this one's important because I might this might be like a final exam or something all right, so you launch Photoshop and then you go to File, Import. I don't know if you guys can see that on the video. And then you're importing something, right? And then it says Images from Device. So this is a device. We're trying to get images. And you select Images from Device. And now I'm going to get the back of this. And don't be afraid. Some people are like, they tell, oh, I'm going to break it. It's not going to break. I'll flip this around. Right, nice. And also when you close this, if you close it too fast, it might, the air might move the paper, so do it slow. All right, so it didn't like that. Let's see, let's try again. Sometimes you have to turn it on and off. File, import, images from device. If it does it again, let's turn it on and off. Because it was, maybe because it was connected to the other one. And then sometimes you unplug it and plug it back in. Everybody knows that, right? Like I had a student yesterday, a senior trying to print stuff and he had his flash drive or thumb drive and he was trying to print from the thumb drive to this printer. So it was going through the thumb drive to the computer to the printer and it would not print. The second he copied his files to the computer and we unplugged it, it printed. So don't ever let that kind of mess you up, right? Cause like, you have to keep trying is what I'm trying to say. Don't just give up and say, oh, I couldn't do it. Tony, what are you doing over there? So everybody knows that, right? Some some devices, turn them on and off, restart the computer, right? Right? I'm sure that's happened like on your phone if your phone got stuck or it's not connecting. People forget their computers, right? Even your phone. Turn it on and off every now and then, right? It's a machine. It needs to do that. And it's the same with these type of things. Anybody know the technical terms for printers and scanners? When you connect it to a computer, they're called peripherals. No? That used to be a thing. All right. So let's try this again. Oh, I hear it doing its thing. Maybe this will work.
Any questions so far? No? All right, let's see, file. It's still blinking, so it's still, see, I'm telling you, it's kind of slow. Ah, so you let it do its thing. And I'll show you guys right now how that actually moves, because you just hear sounds. All right, let's see. Images from device, ah, it's not working. That's weird, last time it didn't work the first way, and now it's not working this way. I mean, it's just touchy sometimes. Look at that. Man, I bet you we'd have to um, turn it on and off. Let's see. So let's go back to, let's go back to system preferences and go back to the printer scanners. And let's go here, open scanner. Of course it's working this way. Okay, so remember I said these were the first, uh, Digital cameras. Mm -hmm. So before we had any kind of digital camera, we either had film, and I'm, I mean, we're talking like the '90s when I first used, maybe even late '80s when I first used a scanner. All right, so don't do this at home, or you could, I guess. This class, have I done when I'm staring at you guys when you're not working? No, mm -hmm. I haven't done that. Anyway, check this out. There's the actual scanner and you can get an image there's my hand cool it just depends how you move it remember also if you're doing that you're you're smudging the glass so can you clean it yeah you can use a little bit of uh, windex or something never spray it on the device right or on a computer always put it on what you're going to use to wipe so you can do a lot of cool stuff i'm not going to mess these up and you can have somebody help you again this is what i'm telling you we, we didn't have any other way of doing stuff let's see and as you move it, as the bar moves, you can get some weird effects. Let's see if that did anything. So you can see it's kind of a kind of a weird. Let me zoom in. So you get all kind of cool distorted images. And then the best trick is, you ready? Let's do this. I'll stare at you guys. Come on. Can't read. Why isn't that scanning? Oh, I had to select an area. Overview. There it goes. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, that's creepy, man. I came out. Oh, look at my cheek guts. And then, what people what people don't realize, I did one with the other students. Watch. What people don't realize is, it is a very high res image. You're like really novel. Check this out. Let's see. There it is. Look at that. I did that one the other day. This is the actual file. There's detail. It is a high res image. All right. So you can be very creative with these things. Uh, oh man, that's that's pretty. That's pretty bad. I didn't actually scan that one, so it's good. But that's pretty creepy looking. And I used to have a poster over there where I had my face squashed. I, and I used to love to do Photoshop uh, weird stuff. And I had my face squashed like that. And then I went to the internet. And I got a, a image of a cockroach, right? And then I photoshopped it, and then I put it on the image, and like I was squashing it with my cheek. And then I made a poster out of it, and everybody was like, "Ugh, like, that's not real. It's Photoshop, man." But anyway, I have it somewhere. I'll show it to you guys one of these days. All right, so everybody got it? How to scan? I need you guys to scan whatever you got today. Uh, I'm gonna post it on there. Super easy. Please get this done today, and then I'll I'll talk about and post. Uh, where you have to list your songs. That won't be due till next week, but today I want everybody to scan whatever they have as, as uh, sketches. I know some of you guys took pictures last class that I was not here, but I really want everybody to scan, all right? So don't waste time, get it done, and uh, scan your stuff. These are nice, I don't know, very nice, good detail ones. All right, everybody good? All right, I don't care how you do it, but get it done today. If you need help, let me know, and I'll post this video in a little bit. All right.